the post-pandemic claims backlog is worse than expected. With rising immunity to COVID, many parts of life are getting back to normal. The Veterans Administration is still working on that. Officials expect cases to be seriously backed up until late 2022. Before the pandemic began, a little over 70,000 cases had been pending for more than a month. By last spring it was up to 210,000, and then it stayed there. Veterans Administration Undersecretary Ken Smith said they are hoping to keep the backlog to under 200,000 through the end of the fiscal year. In many ways, today's Veterans Administration disability process is much the same as it has been for decades. Once veterans file their claims, the Veterans Administration usually schedules a compensation and pension medical examination. A disability benefits questionnaire sometimes supplements the compensation and pension examination. Most DBQs are relatively free form chances for veterans to share information. You can, and should, describe all your symptoms and how they affect your life. This is the stage that really contributed to the backlog. It needs people in the same place, so it got hit hard by the pandemic. After the medical evaluation, a claims examiner usually reviews the veteran's service record to determine if their disability has a service-related connection. Then, the claims examiner usually shoehorns the veteran's symptoms into whatever disability rating fits. If they deny it or give it a lower rating, they have to say why and tell you how you can appeal. For a free consultation with an experienced veteran's disability lawyer, contact the Cameron Firm PC. 800-861-7262. Disabled veterans usually have multiple legal options. We are here to represent veterans across the nation. There is no fee until we win. 800-861-7262. Call now.